Hello everyone. Hope you are all doing great. Today I would like to discuss a sensitive topic. Why Hindu temples should be free from government's control? Because if you see there is a government endowment uh, department which generally controls all the temples across the country. I mean it's it's a state department, state governments. So they have different uh, endowment uh, acts and basically um, the government departments controls these temples so why is this a problem so i would like to discuss this uh, because you must have heard the news that karnataka government is trying to put some tax on the temples revenue like they've divided uh, into categories saying that if i get crores the temple get crores i'll get 10 percent if the temple gets um, a bit less then probably i'll get five percent and then i'm going to use this money for the priest uh, son's education doctor's education and all that keeping this aside first of all we all would like to understand one thing from the uh, history time when the temples were actually uh, the magnificent temples which are built when the East India Company came to India, initially they tried to put the temples under their control. But there was uh, some agitation, especially in London uh, during the time that the Christian uh, minorities, the communities are actually controlling the Hindu temples. So it went under a debate and then what they've decided is okay let's free um, these things so that they can basically uh, control um, on their own so they basically said okay now the temples are on their own they can create their own trust and all that and they can maintain it things are okay after some time like for example um, a few number of years or hundreds of years during the uh, the movement where the indians were trying to uh, kick the british out of india they got a doubt that these temples mosques and uh, churches are actually used uh, to discuss the revolutionary strategies against the british because that's the place where people generally gather. So they got a doubt or they got some uh, reports saying that, yeah, this is happening. So they would like to uh, control that. So what the British did is they tried to bring that endowment act again, saying that, yeah, now the temples, churches, mosques and all will be under the government control. There was lot of uh, what you call um, uh, resistance from the Christian and the Muslim communities so they basically removed them from the bill and they put only the Hindu temples in that in that bill so from that time onwards post independence as well the leaders who were actually uh, leading us for some reason everyone was thinking saying that okay we don't need to leave these temples alone we need to have the control uh, on us the reason is simple because if the temples are in your control the revenue whatever is coming you can use it for other purposes like the roads buildings in the general purpose they can use it for whatever other corrupt uh, uh, stuff which is fine but let's talk about genuine purposes so this is what uh, the governments are trying to use it so now what's the issue with this what are all the challenges uh, which the temples are actually facing because of this Sadhguru no need of any introduction he is trying this from a long time he's trying to uh, participate in the debates trying to make people understand especially for the Tamil Nadu temples which were really in a bad shape he's trying his best to basically free everyone he's not saying only temples any religious institution should be free from these things the reasons uh, what Sadhguru generally quotes the first one a temple is is a place where you go 
trying to worship uh, your favorite uh, god or a deity because it's not like there were some lectures which are happening and people go and listen to that there's nothing like that you, any anything which you would do like prior to doing some work you go to the temple you sit there you offer your prayers and then with a sense of satisfaction saying that yeah th things will be good for me that's a primary uh, goal so it is a fundamental right it's a constitutional right that the devotees should be maintaining the uh, temples that's the primary uh, reason what uh, uh, Sadhguru says and the second most important thing is if for example governments are actually controlling this they may or may not know how to maintain these religious process because the government can be anyone a hindu temple a minority a christian government uh, can be managing them it happens so many places in india so they may not really know the the uh, things to follow in that particular uh, temple so that basically gives a sense of alienation from the people saying that mm, this may not be uh, the thing which should ha actually happen this generally happens in places like Thirumala Thirupit Devasthanam where they try to put some converted Christian as the TTD uh, chairman or something like that. You, you must have seen this in papers and everywhere, uh, news channels. That's the second uh, thing. The third most important thing is if you see the magnificent architectures of these temples, everyone in the world just wonder how brilliant those architectures without any technology or anything at all we need to preserve them if these are under the government control government can use that money for any different things they won't really think about how to preserve the architecture because that's not the priority for them so it is our duty to actually preserve the technology for future generations preserve the temple that architecture for future generations that's another thing important thing also if a temple is owned by devotees and trustees they can look after the other small temples as well because there's so many temples which are 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 in need of money in need of basically uh resurrection for them so these temples can do that so and also whatever these governments are saying about the priests priests kids and all a trust can take care of that pretty easily and then they can do much uh, above that like the medical and a lot of other things which they can take in they they can take care as a local body which they can do it pretty easily so that's another important thing um which what the people can do it the government generally saying only one objection if if i give this to a trust or for people to maintain then there will be a lot of corruption and all that big joke corrupted governments are talking about another organization or a trustee as a corrupted one that's a big joke and also like everything is privatized now airlines whatever you talk about everything is privatized why not the temple just give it to a trustee if you're really a government is worried about the temples then ask the civil servants like the IAS officers somebody to be a middle person in between because somebody who is an educated person can basically be a middle person between the government and then and this trustee and then they can see if there is anything goes wrong and above all the law is there if something goes wrong you file a petition supreme court will come and say what's right and what's wrong so why are you worried about some nonsensical reasons which doesn't really make any sense so overall hope you understand what what the points which i'm saying these are not really my points these are the points which i learned from people like Sadhguru and a lot of other people and all of them really make sense i hope there will be a time which will come definitely and somebody will really understand this may take some time like uh, if a trust is started from the main temples it may take four or five years to come to uh, a good shape by the same time once it comes to a shape you will see miracles because what will happen is when these things are out of anyone's control and then they are maintained on their own and if you think about local bodies taking care of uh, helping each other the other temples other priests and other uh, providing medical and other stuff that country will flourish 
and India will become uh, whatever the Swarna Yug one more time. I hope that time will come. Thanks a lot for listening. Please share, subscribe and comment. Bye.